This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Pull the hood release lever located on the driver's side kick panel. Lift up the safety latch, raise the hood, and support it with the proper rod. Remove the cap from the brake fluid reservoir and siphon out about half the brake fluid. This is to prevent the brake fluid in the reservoir from overflowing when the brake caliper piston is pushed into its bore to make room for the new pads. Properly discard the fluid removed as new brake fluid of the correct type must be used when refilling the reservoir. Apply the handbrake. Chalk the rear wheels to prevent the vehicle from rolling. Using a screwdriver, pry off the wheel trim covers. Loosen the front wheel lug nuts. Then jack up the front of the car and support it on jack stands. Remove the front wheels. Work on one brake assembly at a time, using the assembled brake for reference if necessary. Before disassembling the brake system, position a drain pan under the brake assembly and clean the caliper and surrounding area with brake system cleaner. Again, do not use compressed air and do not inhale any brake dust. Using a C-clamp, push both caliper pistons back into their bores to provide room for the new pads. As the pistons are depressed, the fluid in the master cylinder reservoir will rise. Make sure it doesn't overflow. Remove the lower caliper mounting bolt, then swivel the caliper upwards and off the pads. Slide the caliper with the upper guide pin still installed out of the mounting bracket. Support the caliper by using a suitable wire or coat hanger tied to the vehicle body and caliper. Avoid putting any strain on the brake hose when supporting the caliper. Remove the outer and inner brake pads. Remove the lower pad support plate and make sure the surface underneath is clean to allow for the installation of the new support plate. Push the new support plate securely onto the mounting bracket. Repeat this for the upper pad support plate. Apply some anti-squeal compound to the backing plates of the new pads. Do not allow the compound to make contact with the pad friction surface. Install the outer brake pad noting the location of the notches on the outer pad backing plate. Install the brake pad. Install the inner brake pad. Clean the lower caliper guide pin, then apply high temperature brake grease to the guide pin and reinstall it securely. Also clean and apply grease to the upper guide pin that's mounted in the caliper. Pry out the anti-rattle spring from the center of the caliper window. Then install a new one, seating it evenly and firmly into the caliper. Slide the caliper upper guide pin into the mounting hole, then pivot the caliper downward over the new pads. Install the lower caliper mounting bolt and tighten it to the specified torque setting.
firmly to press the brake pedal a few times to bring the pads into contact with the disc. Repeat this procedure for the remaining front brake pads on the opposite side of the vehicle. Install the front wheels and lug nuts. Lower the vehicle to the ground and tighten the lug nuts to the specified torque. Install the wheel trim covers, applying firm pressure to secure them in place. Check the brake fluid level of the master cylinder reservoir. Add some new fluid of the correct type if necessary to bring it to the appropriate level.